When you become a parent, all you hear is advice. Oh, you should do this. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, don't eat that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This is the best parenting advice I have ever received. All right? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denango, and today we're talking about the best advice I've heard. Honestly, I said it was the best parenting advice, but it's the best advice I've heard in life. <laughs> okay? And that advice is... Leave the room better than you found it, okay? Now, that's not exactly the quote from the book. <laughs> the book we're talking about is The Swedish Art of Aging Exuberantly. Exuberantly. Okay. The author of the book is Margareta Magnusson. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is aging and self-development, okay? So this author is super renowned for writing the book, The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning, which I did read. I probably will reread for a review, but today we're talking about her second book, Phenomenal, okay? 74 years old, decides she wants to start writing books, sharing all of her advice. She has lived everywhere from Hong Kong to Singapore to Canada. They even lived in the States for a little while. Uh, she's originally from Sweden, and she shares all this incredible advice, okay? But the reason why Leave the Room Better Than You Found It is so profound to me is because when you have a little one, and I have a four-year-old, she'll grab some chips, spill some on the floor, walk away. Chips weren't there before. Can you pick those up? Why? To leave the room better than you found it. Why? Because they weren't there before. Why? Because chips don't belong on the floor. Why? Because, <laughs> okay? And when you can give her the description to leave the room better than you found it, that makes sense. I understand what better means. I understand what the room is. I understand how to leave it better than I found it. Wow, okay? And so that's my own little spin because in the book, what Margareta says is, don't leave empty handed. That's what the actual title of the chapter is, don't leave empty handed. And when she learned the lesson, it was from a friend who was headed upstairs to get tea or something. And she was like, oh, don't leave empty handed, meaning, well, if you're going in the other room to grab something, why don't you take something that doesn't belong here and take it with you, right? If you're headed upstairs anyway to get your cell phone, why don't you take your sneakers upstairs? You know what I mean? Don't leave empty handed. And so my spin on it works wonderfully with my daughter. But in my mind, I'm thinking don't leave empty handed. <laughs> and the best part is it actually works on my husband, but it works on me, right? I'm coming downstairs to record these videos. Oh, okay, I have to bring my camera. Okay, cool. Oh, well, while I'm bringing my camera, why don't I put these books in my book bag, put the book bag on my back, and then I can just do it all in one trip, right? It's a way of being more efficient. It's a way of just making stuff better. And then even when I get done with these reviews, I read these books and then I get them from the library because typically I do an audiobook or an ebook. And so as soon as I get done reading it, I'm gonna go and return it. But not only that, I'm gonna take some of my daughter's books back that she needs to turn in. You know what I mean? Like leave it better than you found it. Take care of stuff. Don't let it go to waste, right? If we're reading a book and there's a big rip on a page, my daughter is like, wait, wait, wait. We have to leave it better. And she goes and grabs tape and she wants us to tape the page of the book so that it's better for the next kid that gets the book. And I'm like, she's four years old. I hope she always remembers leave it better than you found it. And we can thank this author for all of that amazing wisdom, <laughs> okay? So I skipped this whole part, but the reason I read this book is because I recently turned 40 years old. 40, yes. <laughs> It, it was hard because the actual birthday was amazing. But as soon as the year turned from 2023 to 2024, everything in my mind was like, you're an old lady. 40 sounds so severe and it's not. I'm enjoying it. I look great to be 40. I have more energy. I have a lot more money than I had when I was younger. Being 40 is amazing. I'm a lot more courageous. I take risks. I have a YouTube channel at 40. How cool am I as a 40 year old, right? But I've been looking for books about how to age better, how to embrace your age, how to enjoy your age, because everyone doesn't live to be 40. And that was how I found this book. And I'm really glad I picked it up because now it's giving me all these great lessons for my four year old. Yes, it is not missed on me that it's 2024, I'm 40 years old and I have a four year old. Maybe I should get the number four tattooed, <laughs> okay? So if you're interested in more books with incredible advice that I have received, because I've been reading some great ones, check out this review here, okay? I will see you in the next one.